Hey everyone, welcome to Chuck's Guitar Geekery. Today I'm checking out the Donner Alpha Acoustic. Now this is a pretty cheap little thing. It's got uh, an acoustic preamp, some chorus, and some reverb. Quarter inch in, and it's got both a quarter inch out and an XLR out. And it runs off your typical nine volt adapter. Why do you need an acoustic effects pedal, you say? Because it makes it sound better, I think. <laughs> really no other reason. Why do you need an effect pedal for anything? It's fun. Now, to me, the acoustic preamp, really, I could take it or leave it. It kind of really affects the sound. Um, I have this Gretsch acoustic here, and it's got a Fishman preamp in it. So, for most of this, I just left the EQ flat, volume at noon, and let the pedal do the talking. So, I think the real magic of the preamp pedal comes when you're using sound hole pickup. Now like this old Washburn guitar here, and this ugly, ugly blue color with this Gumby looking headstock. The electronics in it stopped working a long time ago, so I bought this cheap I mean, Lawrence sound hole pickup. And I used it for a while. It works. But it always kind of left something to be desired. It's a passive pickup, so. The second half of this video, I will focus on using the preamp with a sound hole pickup. Really, there are a lot of old acoustic guitars that are just acoustic, not acoustic electric, and you want to electrify them. You know, you don't want to go do any permanent modifications to them necessarily. So, having a preamp, like the preamp in here, can come in handy for that for not much money. So yeah, the backing track is a Digitech Trio Plus. Otherwise, it's just guitar, this pedal, and that's it. I will say, if you are going to use the preamp channel in this with the preamp that's in an acoustic electric guitar the low end is definitely really boomy coming out of it so you'll find I had to have the low end pretty much down most of the time I turned it up a little bit when I was using the sound hole pickup but for the most part it just made it way too booming but I think live in a mix it really adds a lot of high-end sparkle that the built-in preamps usually just don't have so that can help you sit in a mix a little bit better I think. Anyways, please hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and let's hear some more sounds. 